I got hoodoo, I got voodoo, I got things I ain't even tried. And I got friends on the other side. everyone it is another magical day at Walt Disney World and today is an extremely special day because today is a media event day. It is thanks to Disney that today's media event features one of my favorite After Hours villains, After Hours. You may recall, we did it last year. It was incredible, and this year we get to go to the very first one. Thanks to Disney, they invited me. So Michael, come on out, let's go see it together. I can't wait. I am so excited for this one. Let's get in there. Now, before we jump into the event, I do wanna mention that this entire event is hosted by Disney, so they're paying for the food, admission to the park, all the things that you see me holding that we got, those are all gifts from Disney. A big thank you to the team at Disney for inviting me. It means a tremendous amount. I'm so excited. We've tried several different After Hours events. We have, but my favorite, my favorite by far, has been Villains After Hours. I don't know if it's Maleficent's Dragon breathing fire at night or the rides with some of those subtle overlays. I love it. I love that event. You can see they're getting ready for the event behind me. I'm so excited to go over there. Oh, it doesn't start for a few more minutes. I was just too excited. I couldn't stay away. Time is now 5.41 and we're checking in at the table. Oh my gosh, look at all these goodies. First up, sure enough, it's the Oogie Boogie popcorn bucket. That is so, so cool. Sure enough, you pull the tab right here, push the button, and he does indeed light up. That's so cool, Disney. I cannot tell you how much I love it. Awesome, awesome popcorn bucket. Wow. In addition, I was entered for a raffle. Not sure what the raffle is for, but got the ticket just in case. Got a ticket for the dinner tonight. There's a dinner here and the After Hours event. So, so excited. And apparently there's a surprise inside. I have not opened it. Let's open it together. Oh my gosh, it's a pin right here. It's a mystery pin. Oh, ooh, from Villains. I love it. Comic book pins right there. This is number 13. Perfect for Villains After Hours. Let's open it together. Inside, it's not one, it is two mystery pins. I'm super excited. Which one to open first? This one first. Ooh, very cool. Mark my words, you will pay for your insolence right there. Very, very cool mystery pin. Gonna hang on to that and put it on the pin board. Disney, really appreciate it. The second mystery pin of the night. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You'll be sorry, you fools, Cruella DeVille. That is an awesome pin. Disney, thank you again. This is so, so awesome. They also have these super cool villain Valentine's Day cards right there. Happy Villain Times Day, get it? That, that's super, super cool, and I love these. They have all the different pictures, the different characters right there saying different things, really villainous things as well. This is fantastic. I am so excited. We're just getting started right now. Now, I'm going to put the popcorn bucket and the special mystery pins in the car. I want to do that so that nothing gets damaged over the course of the night. The dinner itself does not start for another 30 minutes, so we've got plenty of time to do just that. I'm so excited. I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am for the entire night. It's gotta be so much fun. Found love, what a shame, says Maleficent. I mean, it's understandable, right? I wanna make sure the popcorn bucket stays safe. This doesn't get wrinkled up. You know, the backpack's great, but you know, gotta take care of all these amazing gifts. Thank you again, Disney. It has gotten much, much colder out here, so I think I'm gonna grab my sweatshirt that I have in the backpack, because it's gonna be a chilly night, no doubt about it, but I came prepared. Jackets, sweatshirts, hats, the whole thing. Now we're waiting for the auditorium to open. Should be another 20, 25 minutes or so. Ah, so relaxing, but I can't. I'm, I'm too excited for Villains After Hours. Sure enough, the doors are open. Let's get in there and see the Villains After Hours Potter. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of food options all over the place. Photo ops right there, some amazing looking photo ops. I'm gonna get a table right now, put my backpack down, we're gonna look around together. Got an amazing seat right up front to see what's going on on the stage. Let's grab some food, then we're gonna take some pictures. We've got Dr. Facilier's friends on the other side. Chicken skewers, and we've got the spinach puff by Kronk. Oh my gosh. Yzma's purple artist. Choke cream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at Maria. She's holding up some treats right there. It all looks really, really good. Corella DeVille's puppy paws and a lot more here. Villainous Delight Mother Gothels kisses right there. See the pink one right there? We'll come back for dessert in a minute. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna eat these as fast as possible. We'll start making our way around. All right, let's try those skewers first. Whoa, whoa. Hopefully you can hear me with the music right behind me. The Dr. Facilier's skewers are really fantastic. Now I'm gonna try I think it's a 
Mushroom filled pop, I've already forgot. I love that music, they kind of a remix of the villain's music, fantastic. Skewers, the best thing I've had so far is puff pastry. Really, really good, I've already forgot. It's like a mushroom, something, it's really good. One item I'm really interested in is that artichoke dip right there. Very, very interesting. With the puff pastry, that would go perfectly. Now the reason I'm holding the camera this way is because the music's coming the other direction, so I wanna make sure you can hear me. That's really good, the puff pastry in that purple Yzma dip, so good. Most of the information areas are shut down at the moment. They're waiting for that main presentation. Then when they open up, the non-alcoholic drink they have is Voodoo Magic. Lemonade, green apple syrup, garnished with rock candy straw. I love the bar. That's, yes. Thank you very much, appreciate it. There it is, the Voodoo Magic with the rock candy. Oh, it's super good, a lemonade. Definitely lemonade, but really good with the rock candy. Okay, we've got the three desserts right here. They look really, really good. I wanna try them all. I got them pictured right here. I got a picture of the food, so I know exactly what it is. Villainous Delights Corella's DeVille Puppy Paws. We've got the Mother Gothel's Meringue Kisses, and we've also got the Cake Pop for Villains After Hours Party. It all looks super, super good. Which to try first? Let's go for the Meringue Kisses right there. Definitely that strong meringue flavor to it. it has hints of that kind of honey sweetness at the end. Really good. Now for the Heart Cake Pop right there. Can you see it's kind of got the rock candy right on it? That's awesome! Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is an incredible dessert. I love it. Peanut butter, and you got kind of the harder candy on the outside. Oh, I could have three or four of these. I won't, I won't, but oh yeah. If you see this, I'd get it. That's so good. Now time for Cruella's Puppy Paws. Oh my God, that's fantastic. There's chocolate in that one. Almost like a fudge, but it's not, it's a cake. But the Puppy Paws and the Cake Pop are out of this world amazing. Meringue, you know, not, I don't, wouldn't go out of my way for the meringue, but the Cake Pop and Puppy Paws Oh, mind blower. The winner by far, Dr. Facilier's skewers right here. The chicken skewers, oh my gosh, if you see these, definitely get them, amazing flavor. All right, gotta go catch Lisa as she's making her presentation on the stage. As well as Disney's Hollywood Studios, and you might not be surprised that I'm quite excited personally for this event myself. Well, we have a lot more villains joining her this year in the Cursed <laughs> Caravan. Cruella de Vil, Gaston on horseback, oh. and we also have an exclusive stage show called Villains Unite the Night. Okay, the main presentation is over. We're here at Food and Beverage to get a preview of some of the delicious items that they have for Villains After Hours. All right, Chef Amy's here to talk us through the food of After Hours with villains. I'm ready, Amy. Okay, welcome. So we'll start on Main Street USA at Casey's Corner. We have the Hades hot dog. Ooh. It's going to be buffalo chicken, um, spicy ranch, celery, and then fiery cheese dust. Oh my gosh. To wash that down, you're gonna need the Hades Temptation. This is our mocktail. It is lemonade and violet syrup with that gummy worm straight out of the movie. There you go. Then we go across the street to Main Street Bakery where you can find the locked away maiden loaded grilled cheese. Ooh. Provolone and pepper jack cheese with tomatoes and bacon jam. I'll toast it there nicely so it comes out real warm yeah. bubbly for you. We'll move over to Gaston's Tavern when you want to be big and strong just like him. You get the five dozen egg slush. Ah. It's a frozen custard with whipped cream and cinnamon. Ooh. We move on to Storybook Treats in Fantasyland. You're going to find body language for Ursula. Get that, you know, move. It's going to be cookies and cream mousse with chocolate cake, a chocolate glaze, and meringue tentacles. Wow. For Ursula, we have the Poor Unfortunate Souls as well. <laughs> this one is going to be Black Raspberry Soft Serve with Cherry Coke, a Sugar Crown, and Chocolate Candies. Wow. We move over to Tortuga Tavern. You're going to find the Diamond in the Rough. I like it. Okay. This one's going to be a mango slush with whipped cream, a little cinnamon and nutmeg, and then that chocolate diamond. Wow. Can't go wrong. We move over to Cheshire Cafe, where we have a couple items. You can start with your beverage, which is going to be Hearts on Fire. It's fruit punch and Coke with popping strawberry candies wow. and that strawberry garnish. And then you get into the Royal Majesty Cake Pop, strawberry cake pop dipped in red chocolate with sprinkles. And then we have the Painting the Roses Red. We never want to have the queen. Right. You want to be off with your head. Yeah. It's a cheesecake mousse with a raspberry jelly, 
red cocoa butter and buttercream. Wow. And lastly, we moved to Sleepy Hollow where you can find our Dr. Facilier treats, the Voodoo Magic. It's going to be lemonade and green apple with our purple candy straw. Oh and then our Just Take Three house-made beignets, ah. vanilla gelato, white chocolate ganache, whipped cream, and chocolate candies. All look super villainous and fantastic. Thank you, Amy, yes, really appreciate please it. please go enjoy tonight. You know I will. Learning about some of that food and beverage, it all looks super good. The eggnog, I was told by my friend Thomas in line, is amazing, so things we've gotta to try tonight for sure. Here with Kate, who helped design some of those late night activities for Villains After Hours. Tell us about some of the new things, Kate. We are very excited about the Cursed Caravan. Ooh. This is an opportunity to be able to see as many villains as possible in one night. So here you're going to have the opportunity to see Gaston on horseback. It's going to be great. Corella DeVille with her henchmen. Okay. Lady Tremaine with the stepsisters. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Hearts with her playing cards. Oh my gosh. You're going to see Big Bad Wolf Oogie Boogie and we're very excited. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> Ursula herself will I be with it. us at Magic Kingdom. I cannot wait for it. Two times during the night. Two times. What times are they? So it depends on the night that you come, okay. but definitely check out those times, guys, Got so it. you don't miss it at all. Oh, I can't wait. Now, last but not least, there are some photo ops around Villains After Hours. Tell us about those. Yeah, so these are really great photo opportunities in all of our lanes. So you want to make sure that you find them all. And they're really designed for those Instagrammable moments. So I really recommend getting up to Adventureland and finding Scar. It's a really fun interactive Ooh, one. Okay, I'll be looking for it. Thanks so much, right. Kate. You're so welcome. Now, Steven is here from Disney to tell us about merchandise. Steven, take it away. Well, I love the jacket I'm wearing. I love your shirt. Thank you. Oh, you know. Hades rules. Yes, you know? he does. So this is a new bomber jacket created especially for the Villains After Hours Party. We've created a couple of different apparel items and some home decor that you can uh, only find during this After Hours event. The bomber jacket's super comfortable. Oh my especially gosh. for nights, you know, a nice cool floor tonight, yes. you know, going out to the Magic Kingdom. Has the logo for the event. Ooh, the back, uh, 2022. This is a 2020 dated logo Love here. Love it. Pairs really well with the pass holder exclusive tee. So if you're a pass holder, uh, you can find this exclusive tee super soft, wow. very comfortable. Other cuts and tees, there's a pocket tee. There's some tees for ladies here that have them. Oh, wow. Those Go figure. Very stylish, very on trend when it comes to that. And of course, the leggings. You can be remiss without mentioning leggings. Those are awesome. Because those are great to wear the parks, you know, from that. Pair it then with some oversized jewelry, whether it be necklaces, earrings, or you can walk around them with the zipper. Ooh. This is the Oogie Boogie zipper. Has the villains after hours logo on the back, his head comes up here and so forth. Best place to find these, go to Emporium right on Main Street USA, Got it. Mickey Store Traders in Tomorrowland, or Fantasy Fair in Fantasyland. You can find these items, plus a probably a couple of other villains items we carry as part of our normal assortment. And then, you know, hashtag it. I want to see what you're wearing. Okay. You go with hashtag Villains After Hours, post it on your social media. I want to see the, the, the villainous, stylish outfits you're wearing to the party. No doubt about it. That Thanks you. so much, Stephen. Thank Appreciate you. it. Great seeing Stephen with that merchandise. So cool to see in the bomber jacket. That looks super, super cool. The jacket he was wearing. They tell me that you can wear it over there, so I might try and see if I can try it on somewhere. Sure enough, I found the bomber jacket to try on. I just want to give it a try. I just want to give it a try, see how it feels. Now, this is an XL so that everyone can give it a try while we're here at the media event, but they do have them in the Emporium, nice and light. I got to tell you, that's nice. It's just really lightweight, you know, for kind of sub-chilly. Not too, too cold, not, not meant for like super sub-freezing temperatures, but I love it. And 2020, ah, back there. Gotta love it. Goes super well with the hat right there. Take a look at that. You see Hades right there and on the back, devilishly handsome. No, yes, maybe. I think it's cool. They also have a tank top here as well, which I did not see before. A very cool one kind of with the uh, sparkles right there. Love that. The drinks right there. And I have this mug and I love it with Hades right there. Super cool. So much fun to experience all this. I'm here drinking the end of my voodoo magic here. I'm gonna see if there's any openings for character couture. Maybe there will be. Here with the character couture team and we're talking about ideas already with the entire team. I'm super excited about it. I've got an idea in mind. I'm very, very excited about it. They are so talented, so, so talented. So you know, I'm gonna take every opportunity to, to, to do that. It's so cool. Jackie's excited for it too. I'm nervous. Uh, you'll do great, you'll do great, come on. Are you wearing Captain America? I am, why do you remember me from last time? Okay, I'm ready. I've got 
friends on the other side and here, Christine and Courtney doing an amazing job. Take a look at this. This is the first Dr. Facilier they have done. I am so, so impressed. Thank you both so much. There are ghosts. There are ghosts coming out of the head. There's, there's ghosts behind me there. That's fantastic. Let's head off to Villains After Hours. Unbelievable. I've got friends on the other side. I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. I'm the last. Thank you. I'm the last one out. But with the, I think in my opinion, the best make of the whole event. I'm telling you. I'm actually kind of late because I missed the bus to get to Magic Kingdom. How do I put the sweatshirt on? Uh-oh. Wait, you might be wet still. Okay, no sweatshirt at the moment because hair's still kind of wet. Let's make our way. I hope I'm not scaring anyone with my Dr. Facilier, but you know, it's, it's just me. It's just me. Face ID doesn't recognize me. <laughs> I've already walked past several guests who have said nothing but the highest praise about the amazing character coach tour. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so impressed every time. I got hoodoo, I got voodoo, I got things I ain't even tried. And I got friends on the other side. Got maps right here, super cool 2020 villains after hours telling us where everything is. I gotta figure out what time the parade is showing because I do not want to miss the villains cursed caravans. First one's at 10.30. We'll miss we saw a lot of the merchandise at the event earlier, so my priority for the night is to try and go on some of those attractions, especially the ones with the overlays, try some of the food, and definitely see the shows. So those are my priorities tonight. Ah, it's gonna be so magical. Time is now 8.58, so we've got perfect timing. It is perfect. We get the entire experience at Villains After Hours. First photo spot I'm looking for is right by the partner statue. There should be some photographers standing around there. Some here on Main Street USA, and I'm looking right over here. There's another one right over here. I think this is the special photo best photographer. So just learned there is an Oogie Boogie one in Tomorrowland. This is the Hades magic shot. There's a Maleficent one behind the castle, and Scar in Adventureland. Those are the shots. We're gonna try and get them all. Mischief makers! Ooh. And all all creatures of the night. It's Sauter. Disney Villains After Hours. I like getting started now. See, we're checking our wristbands right here. Thank you very much. And we're making our way and you can see the difference in crowds. This, this is Villains After Hours crowds right here. Uh, I'm telling you. A lot of friends ask me, Michael, when's the slow season at Disney? Villains After Hours is the slow season. You want no crowds on rides? Yes. Now don't forget about that free popcorn and ice cream. I, I can't forget about that personally. I, I don't want to forget. Unbelievable. Unbelievable the crowds. This is Villains After Hours crowds right here. I think that's the most amazing part to this. It's like a handful of people around me. A handful. You know, since we're over here, I feel like it's the perfect time to go on Pirates of the Caribbean. It has the very special character overlay. And there should be some, I think, pirates? Pirates or other villains on board the ride. And here we are, Pirates of the Caribbean with the Villains After Hour overlay. Checking the wristbands as we go in for a villains party of old Pirates of the Caribbean. Less than five minute wait, no doubt. We walked all the way up right to the boat. Zero wait, zero wait. Who be the captain of your crew down there? I once knew a man who lost both his arms and part of his eye. I called him Larry. Turn your rudder to this town and ne'er return. Unless you're looking for treasure. In which case, go that way. You think you can take on one? You better start believing in ghost stories. You might be in one. Have you seen the treasure? The gold from Cortez himself? Have you seen it? Ah, oh, we need it back. Find it, we did. We took them all. I love what. Pirates of the Caribbean was really cool. Always love those live actors there, kind of singing Yo Ho with you, looking for gold. Always a lot of fun. Okay, now we're gonna look for more of those photos, popcorn, and we gotta get to Space Mountain too, because that's got a special overlay too. There's some of the merchandise right here at the exit Pirates of the Caribbean, including that Oogie Boogie tumbler over there. We gotta go back. We'll go to the Emporium and look for a lot of merchandise a little bit later, if we have time. Hopefully we'll have time. Hopefully, you gotta prioritize. Now here's a photo op with Villains After Hours projected behind us. Yay for free popcorn! Popcorn, ice cream, mango bars, soda, water, all included. Gotta love it. Now if you don't have the photo pass, believe it or not, they also have Scar right here. This is new for this year as far as I remember. I do not remember Scar here last year. Very, very cool for Villains After Hours. Making my way back towards the partner statue and the dance party is going on right now. So I was thinking we'd go on more rides and take more photos, 9.38 right now. So we actually gotta get ready, we have a spot right there, Disney's holding for us to see the stage show and the brand new parade of villains. It's gonna be very, very cool to see. I'm gonna check the map, see if we can't get a treat before then to try. Gaston's five dozen egg slush. 
Let's do it. Just imagine going on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train again and again and again and again and again. There's no wait at all. Now there are a lot of cast members checking to make sure we all have wristbands as we walk deeper and deeper into the park. And my phrase now that I've been using is I say, I've got hoodoo, I've got voodoo, and I've got this wristband right here. It's, it's a lot of them have laughed. Now I hear this one at Gaston's Tavern is like an eggnog slush. I'm so excited about it. Now to try the five dozen egg slush from Gaston's Tavern exclusive to Villains After Hours. Cheers. Very, very strong eggnog taste there, but delicious. Oh my gosh, Th this is this is competitive. Now making my way very quickly back towards the front, the partner statue, where we have that reserved spot for the special stage show and parade. As I drink more and more of this slushy, I love it more and more. It is so, so good. Flavor's perfect, it's not too strong. That's one of the things sometimes with slushies, too strong. This one, competitive for one of my favorites, I'm telling you. I would put this milkshake in the top 10 at Walt Disney World, easy. It's not sci-fi, it's not Giardelli, but it's close. It's really good. Look at that fractured castle right up there just for Villains After Hours. So, so cool, let's go see this show. I'm seeing some guests in pretty serious costumes right here. Amazing to see. Think of it like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, but far less crowded, far less crowded. Now, Disney does have a reserved spot for us right up front, which is great. But take a look, even if you don't have a spot up front, there is like miles of space for you. You are 100% gonna get a front row seat, even if you show up at the last second. Seven minutes to go now, the anticipation is absolutely palpable, even though we've all got spots to ourselves. Super nice. Two minutes to go to the stage party begins, then we get that parade coming through. It is time to kick this party into hot, hot. How you doing? Love the smoky eye. Boring. Ah! Booyah! Woo! It's a dead world after all. Mission. Everything you wish will come to fruition. You seem mistaken, friend. not-so-benevolent boss of the underworld, which has been, you know, forever, lady. Lady? I am more than a lady. I am a queen! Again with the fool! How original! Now, complete my magic spell! Talk about having an axe to grind, huh? As is their mission. The prophecy, that's why you're here. So kindly, get out! Don't you disrespect me. The night, a great one, truly, truly great one. I loved it. Not a lot of new effects with different fire effects. There were more actors, more axes, more people jumping off of other structures on the stage. It was slightly different, and I really did enjoy it. I feel like the enhancements really did add. Absolutely. The cursed caravan begins in five minutes from Frontierland. So my plan, even though this special reserved area is still held here, I'm gonna go to Frontierland, try and catch it there, and then maybe be able to catch it twice on its way around. It's gonna be so, so cool. By Aloha Isle right now, and take a look, nobody here, as you would imagine. We're gonna try and find a spot to view the parade, right here, that Villains Parade, right now. I'm gonna try three minutes to go, we can do it. Unbelievable, with two minutes left to go, look how many spaces are open on both sides of the street. Look at that, 
Oh my gosh, so you will 100% be able to see it from the front row. Sure enough, we've got a spot right by the entrance of the Carolina right over here. Splash Mountain is right there, so we've got a great spot. From the depths of your nightmare to the streets of the Magic Kingdom, <laughs> we proudly present the Disney villains first. Catabomb. There's Gaston on horseback, hard to imagine. Oh, it's Lady Tremaine in a carriage right there. This case of Grisella right there. So <laughs> wow. They're ready. If the roses aren't red, they're ready. There she is looking sinister as always. Oh my gosh, here it is, Ursula, right there. And look at that. Her shell is glowing right there. Oh. <laughs> you better pay attention now. This here caravan is cursed. <laughs> Ooh, that's a fantastic quote by Oogie Boogie. This Captain Hook and the Big Bad Wolf right there. The you. And here it is, Maleficent's Dragon. Looking sharp. There's Maleficent's Dragon right there. So scary. Very, very cool. Now we're going to go back towards Main Street USA and see if we can catch the other end of it. Very cool. I didn't see Maleficent breathe yet, but I know she probably will later on. Now as we make our way back towards Main Street USA, we're going to try and get a few of those very special low light photos of all those characters. Time is now 10.36 for the next hour and a half. I have no doubt every single ride will be a walk on. Okay, we've made it back to Main Street USA and we've got time to spare. The parade has not made it here to the castle yet. Let's see it again. characters like Ursula and Gaston on horseback. We didn't see Maleficent breathe fire tonight, but from most other nights, I imagine she does breathe fire. I'll confirm that a little bit later, but awesome one. I really like the fact that Oogie Boogie had his own phrases and you saw all the cards, those playing cards dancing along with the Queen of Hearts. Awesome. Now that's new for this year. There's a projection of Hades fire hair right over there by that purple wall. I need a photo there. Check that out. That is awesome. So Hades fire hair right there and villains after hour projected on the purple wall. Now I'm going from spot to spot to try and catch all those photos. This one is right by the entrance slash exit of Tomorrowland. Time is now 11 o'clock. We've got one hour left and I'm going to Space Mountain to see that very special overlay that they have there. I should know that Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin is open and it is a complete walk-on. All the attractions that I'm seeing, complete walk-on. Space Mountain may be the exception with a five or 10 minute wait, but yeah, empty. We've got unlimited drinks and food. Thank you very much, appreciate it to choose from. I love it. Attention space travelers, tonight's flight will soar to high energy soundtrack through complete darkness. Villains space trip. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Now in Space Mountain is in total darkness. It's not about what you can see. It's about what you can hear. Here we go. Keep hearing different voices like Cruella or the evil queen. Don't know who it is. <laughs> Guilty. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that was different from the last time we did that. I gotta tell you, it was so intense. You heard voices from different villains throughout the adventure. That was super, super intense. Now, last time we rode Space Mountain during Villains, villains After Hours, it was all dark and not much music at all. It has been adjusted. There is now a little bit of music, still not much, but the voices, you can hear voices of the Evil Queen, I think the Queen of Hearts, I think Jafar I heard in there at some point, like, don't you know raise my temper or don't make me upset or whatever. It was really, really cool. A little bit louder on those would be even better, but definitely an enhancement that I like a lot. I love those character voices in there, the villain's voices, pitch black. You could not see where you're going at all. Now you may recall from last year, the Villains After Hours event, Space Mountain. I didn't really recommend it as you know, something in the short period you're here for Villains After Hours. Now that we have those voices and it's even darker, 
I think I do. I liked it. It's not the Christmas party. The Christmas party was my very favorite overlay of Space Mountain. Still awesome though. It would not be a true after hours event without one Mickey bar. Here it is, the Mickey bar for the 2020 Villains After Hours event. Thanks to Disney. It's perfectly, perfectly made. I love Mickey bars. Now, if it what seems I odd, I can understand it. Wearing a coat, eating a frozen Mickey bar. I, I can understand if it feels odd, but to me, it feels just right. There's Villains After Hours projected right up there behind Mickey Star Traders. I've never seen it say zero right there. Marlin Speedway. Zero minute wait. The cast members are literally standing there waiting for you to come on board. That's how fast it is. There is no line at all. You're walking on all the attractions here. Now, of course, I'd love to go walk on all these attractions, but I also want to see what's new for Villains After Hours this year. One of those things are these cutouts. Take a look. You've got the Queen of Hearts and two of her cards right here, ready to paint those roses red, as we can see right there. Awesome. Here at Storybook Treats, and I want to try another one of those specialty items, so I'm going to try the very special Poor Unfortunate Souls kind of slushies milkshake. It's black cherry soft serve with cherry coke. Oh my god. Unfortunately, those Poor Unfortunate Souls are Poor Unfortunate Souls. We could not get any of them because their ice cream machine is not working at the moment. Oh man, that's okay. We'll try it another day, I'm sure, but looks like a cool shake. I do want to try one more specialty item from the After Hours event, so I'm going to stop by the Chef's Shire Cafe and see what they have there. Instead, I'm going to try the Hearts on Fire Fruit Punch Coca-Cola Strawberry Pop Rocks garnished with a strawberry. And here it is, the Hearts on Fire by Cheshire Cafe. Doesn't look like anything, you know, super amazingly special, you know, just that strawberry on top, but appearances can be deceiving. Overall thoughts, it's a nice cherry taste to it, no doubt about it. Can't really taste the Pop Rocks or the Coke too much. It's, it's kind of the cherry and fruit punch. That's, that's about it. I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Not my all-time favorite. If you love fruit punch, you may love this, but not my favorite. The stage show, Villains Unite the Night's going on right now, and you still see the projections right there. I love it. I'm gonna go stand right by the stage and grab a few photos of this great show. They do say the devil is in the details. I'm Henry! <laughs> The five shall come together and hear thy curse when the five planets alive. Everything you wish will come to fruition. The five shall come together and hear thy curse. Evermore, you shall rule the universe. Give us thy power. Make us your choices. Night the Night Show again. It was really, really good. I loved it. Nine minutes left in the Villains After Hours event. I'm going to go by the Emporium, look for a few items that I may want to buy. Sure enough, I found the Villains After Hours merchandise section here in the Emporium. I love that we got the preview of that merchandise before we got here, which is great. And now, guess what? We caught the characters coming down Main Street USA. Ooh, Lady Tremaine, Cursed Caroline. Oh. Her manners be too faced. Ah, she's scared. <laughs> They're scared of all the villains. Side note, if you're looking for more light, I recommend Main Street USA. Everything's a lot clearer. I love the golf club right there that she's holding. Ah, the cards on their mission. Very, very cool how they did this. Look who's driving the van here. They're looking for puppies. You can tell they're looking for puppies. They're looking for someone to sign the contract. Aha. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's so scary. Well, uh, I love like the background music, some of this. I need this music. I'm playing in the car. Time to show you really all about Ooh, big bad wolf right there. Woo. Okay, quite thorny there. Lips is dragon, mouth open and everything. Not breathing fire tonight, but breathes fire, I believe, other nights, so. It's just so cool to see the eyes glowing at night and everything. I love how as we follow Maleficent out, we can actually make our way over here as they're exiting and there are still front row seats, front row spots to see this parade. That's to go, goes to show you how small the crowd is. Ah! Oh. The name's Boogie Boogie. What's yours? <laughs> Good to see you. Ah! And just like that, the cursed caravan is over for the very first 
Villains After Hours event here at the Magic Kingdom. Now before we say farewell for the night, we've got to say farewell to a few of our friends here. And you'll notice there's a farewell sign right there. Looking for a few friends to join us. Lady Tremaine, Anastasia, Drizella, Cruella de Vil, Gaston, and the Queen of Hearts. Hello, you average looking people. <laughs> Can be as good looking as us. That's my priest over there. <laughs> what are you all staring at? Who wants to see a bison? They're just all watching them as they're standing up there. Now that's how you dress right there. <laughs> they're all just kind of talking at the moment, making fun of us or chatting. I love it. Uh, they're telling us to go. Look how many people are just watching their farewell right here. There's so many people just standing here watching them chat. I don't hear any compliments. You might as well just leave. This one looks like Lucifer. Why? They're all still standing. Why are you staring at me? You will not be missed. Get home. What makes them think they can stay in this kingdom? This side! <laughs> That's so, so funny. I could stand here for a while watching them. We're gonna make our way out now. Very, very cool. I love this way of ending it right there. It's, it's very creative. It's, you know, the villain saying farewell to you and just kind of chatting with everybody. A lot of people just hanging out right there. I love it. As we make our way out, take a look. You can see some of like the splintering wood right here projected and Villains After Hours projected right over there. I gotta tell you, Villains After Hours, it was so, so much fun. Several changes this year from last year. I was really impressed with that stage show and some of the changes we saw there. The parade was super nice and I like the changes to the Space Mountain overlay. That was really, really nice. We got popcorn, we got Mickey ice cream, we got soda, we got water. We enjoyed several of those complimentary treats. It was super, super nice. Disney, I gotta tell you, I loved, loved being a part of this event. It was so, so much fun. So who is Villains After Hours good for? In my opinion, if you love low crowds, low crowds getting on those rides right away, special Villains events, it is right for you. If you love those low crowds, that's the highest priority with this one. You really get the lowest of the low crowds. I mean, you're walking around, walking on every ride. Yeah, at that part alone is just mind-blowingly awesome. Another huge thank you to Disney for the invitation. Disney, I cannot begin to tell you how much I love these events. I am honored to be invited to be a part of it. It just means so, so much. I had so much fun. I should note the walkway to the Contemporary Resort is slightly different now. It's, you know, kind of winding around this way with all the construction happening over there. Now, given how long it took for them to build all this walkway here and kind of take out those stones, I have a feeling this walkway will be completed within maybe weeks. I mean, it's so, so fast how quickly they've been laying this concrete. It's understandable though, it's not as big a job as building a new resort, as an example. Thanks so much for joining me today. Villains After Hours, an adventure I will never forget. Thanks for being a part of the Magic Earth today, and until next time, have a magical day. Thank you.